Good day Scouts, my name is Sean Collins. Welcome back to Scout Skills for All. We are back at level 3 lockdown, which means back to online scouting. Today, the man, the myth, the leopard. Janneke Beekes is going to teach us backwards cooking. Good day, my name is Janneke Kubiakis. I am from First and Bougain Sweeney Scouts, South Africa, on Manzum Toti. I am part of the Leopards Patrol. I will be showing you how to lay a fire, light a fire, make a twist bread, and a pressure pack. Okay, so for the fire, you're going to need tinder, which is just grass, dry grass, uh, shavings of wood, maybe some rope if you have, just to get the fire going. I'm going to be using this. You will also be needing some small, thickish sticks, you know, to kindle. You need to kindle first. And that's to, you know, just help with the fire, I guess. And then, you're going to need bigger, thicker sticks to keep the fire going. But for the sake of this video, to keep the fire going longer, I'm going to be using charcoal. So, right at the bottom, you will have your tinder. And then, above that, you'll have the kindle, which is like the smaller sticks, and the bark to, to light the fire, help it a bit more. And then, you have the heavier wood and smaller sticks. And you take all that and you put it in a teepee. So while the fire is getting ready, uh, we're going to go over there and we're going to get the food done. Let me just change real quick. Okay, so we're starting with the twist bread. And in order to make this, you need 250 ml of flour, which is one cup, which is right here. I'll be doing that now. Uh, you also need 15 ml of sugar, 3 teaspoons, you know, just a tablespoon. 5 ml of baking powder, 1 table, oh, one teaspoon. And water or milk, and also a half a teaspoon of salt. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so half a teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, 250 moles of flour, and then some milk or some water. That, that's what you need. So, you need to mix all your dry ingredients together. And then you need to add a little bit of milk or water, whatever you choose to use. You need to knead the bread until it's nice and elastic and it doesn't stick to your fingers. If it sticks to the bowl, it's fine, just make sure it doesn't stick to your fingers. Okay, so what you're gonna do, 
from here. And you're gonna cut this into you're gonna cut this into four equal parts. put these three to the side for now and then you take this one and you need to roll it into a sausage shape so it's about 10 centimeters in diameter so what you do is you press it flat and then you need to roll it around the stick with half centimeter spaces in between And there you have it, the bread. Now it's ready for the fire. But a growing scout cannot live on bread and jam alone. We need something more wholesome. And that, my fellow scouts, is where pressure pack comes in handy. Okay. So what you'll need for the pressure pack is uh, your meat, tin foil. You can use any meat you want. Uh, chicken, mince, anything really. We'll be using chicken today. Uh, you need some vegetables. You can use any vegetables you want. Today we're going to be using onions, potatoes, carrots, and some cabbage leaves. So now you need to chop your vegetables and your meat into small pieces. So you need to spice your meat with some salt and whatever other spice you're using. We have chicken, so I'm going to be using chickens, chicken spice and salt. Okay, so now with the tin foil, you need to fold it in half at first so that you can have this half line here, which shows you where to put the meat and the food and where to fold it. So what you're going to do is, you're going to align the bottom with the, with the cabbage leaves, which prevents the meat or food from burning. Okay. Now. So, uh, first put the meat if you want, or if you if you want the flavor of the meat to go through to the vegetables, then you put the meat first. But if you want to put the vegetables first, then add a bit of meat, and then add the rest of the vegetables. Then do that too.
Okay, so now you need to add a little bit of seasoning. Add a bit of water. You can just take a spoonful of water. Then you need to cover it again with the rest of the cabbage leaves that you have. After covering it, you need to wrap with you need to wrap it with the tin foil that you have here. You need to make it airtight so that it makes a bit of a steam thing and you know, cooks better. Uh, there you go, uh, pressure pack. Now you just need to place this directly on the, on the coals for about 25 to 35 minutes. A meal fit for a hungry scout. Enjoy.